do all religions teach that God is a God of love? Do you know, we live in a world in which there's a very, very common assumption uh, held by many, many people that all the great faith traditions of the world are essentially the same. But it's especially the case when it comes to Judaism, Christianity and Islam. I'll often hear people lump those three religions together and talk about Abrahamic faiths. And then when you press into it and ask, what do you mean? People will often say, well, surely, you know, Christianity and Islam believe largely the same things about God and all the important topics. For example, you know, everyone believes that God is a God of love. And if I had a pound for every time I've heard someone say words to the effect of every religion teaches that God is a God of love, I could probably retire and at least have a tent in the Bahamas somewhere. Well, I've been studying Islam for, for over 20 years uh, now, and I'm actually, as I record this, uh, writing a book on the whole subject of is it the same God and Christianity and Islam. And one of the interesting things is when you explore that question and look in detail at what the Quran and the Bible say uh, about God and love, you discover some very, very different things. For example, the Bible is very, very clear that God is a God of love. That is stated numerous times, hundreds of times, on page after page after page. And in fact, in the, uh, in the letter of uh, John in the New Testament, in 1 John chapter 4, the Bible even goes so far as to say that God is love. In other words, for the Bible, uh, love is not something that God is, does. Love is something that God is. And in fact, to get all theological on you for a moment, because Christians believe that God is a God who is Trinity, he is a God who is Father and Son and Holy Spirit, that means that God didn't have to create anything to be a God of love, because before human beings were on the scene, the Father loved the Son, the Son loved the Spirit. So at the very heart of who God is, God is a God of love, and the Bible says that love is most powerfully demonstrated in the person of Jesus. In the book of Romans in the New Testament, chapter 5, verse 8, it says God demonstrates his love for us in this, that while we were still sinners, while we were still his God's enemies, while we were start, still far from him, he stepped into history in the person of Jesus and went to the cross. So love in the Bible is everywhere. When you turn to the Quran, what's interesting is that the Arabic word for, for love uh, turns up fairly infrequently and in fact is only used uh, with God as the, as the subject of the sentence roughly about 36 or 37 times. And almost exactly half of those small number of occurrences in the Quran describe the kind of things that Allah, the God of the Quran, doesn't love. We're told that he doesn't love sinners, he doesn't love those who are rebellious, he doesn't love those who are disobedient. The list goes on and on, the Quran telling you the kind of people that God doesn't love. And then the other 18 or so occurrences where the word love is used of God, the Quran tells you the kind of things that you need to do in order for God to love you. If you keep his commandments, if you're obedient, if you're faithful, if you do these things, God will love you. There is literally nowhere in the Quran where any vision of an unconditional love of God is, uh, is reached out. Nowhere does the Quran say that God loves everybody, that God loves even those who are far from him. And nowhere does the Quran say that God is love, because of course the God of the Quran is not a God who's a trinity, he's a God who's absolute unity and he could not be that love without first creating something to love. The concept doesn't make sense. And what's interesting, when you go and read Muslim theologians, you'll discover that actually many of them will say uh, on page after page that Muslims shouldn't use the word love to describe God. It's even blasphemous, one very famous Muslim scholar said, uh, because it would suggest that God somehow would commit himself or stoop down to human level to display love. And so therefore, Muslims are advised not to use it. Now, what that shows you is that uh, when someone says to you something like, all religions believe that God is love, you need to ask the question, what's your evidence for that? And when you actually explore the evidence, when you look at what the Quran says and the Bible says, you see two very, very different visions of God. And the Bible, as I say, consistently says, if you want to know what the love of God looks like in action, take a look at the person of Jesus. Because Jesus didn't believe himself to be some mere human being come to tell us about God. He claimed to be somebody come to reveal God to us. And when he went to the cross and died on my behalf and your behalf, uh, Jesus believed that he was showing us most dramatically in that action just how radically uh, God's, God's love for us actually is.